Dependence on foreign oil. If you want energy independence, support public transit. Much has been made of the news that America is now exporting more oil than it imports. The impression is given that the nation is well on its way to energy independence. But that impression is not supported by the facts. The chart to the left, published by the Energy Information Administration, appears to give a rosy view of our growing energy independence. But something's wrong. If you look carefully, you'll see that the numbers of barrels on the right don't align correctly with the number on the left. The chart on the right, on the other hand, gives an accurate presentation of how much more oil America would need to produce to match its current consumption. America is the world's largest consumer of crude oil. Our reliance on petroleum still makes the U.S. dependent on foreign oil from volatile countries, fueling our war presence throughout the Middle East. Reducing our dependence on foreign oil makes our nation more secure. Public mass transit is one of the most powerful weapons we have and that we can deploy to protect our country. Petroleum powers 95% of American transportation. 60% of this energy use is from cars and light trucks, while public transit accounts for only 3%. Transit saves money on fuel. Mass transit use saves the equivalent of 900,000 automobile fill-ups every day. Americans spend on average $3.34 per gallon of gas. That's $3.34 a gallon, equaling an average of $2,912 annually, or just under 4% of our income. Congestion costs due to traffic is estimated at $16.79 per hour of person travel and $86.81 per hour of truck time. Transit also decreases American fuel consumption. Without mass transportation, travelers would have consumed 640 million more gallons of fuel. In 2008, for example, public transit saved the U.S. 4.2 billion gallons of gas annually. That's the equivalent of 11.5 million gallons of gasoline per day, the equivalent of taking all of Florida's cars off the road. That's more than three times the amount of gasoline refined from the oil we import just from Kuwait. If transit usage doubled, we would decrease our oil consumption to our approximate annual oil imports from Saudi Arabia. By reducing our need for fuel and re reducing the cost of travel, transit also reduces the threat of war. Our increased fuel consumption forces the U.S. to look to foreign oil to meet our energy demands. 68% of America's imported oil comes from countries at high risk of instability. The U.S. is invested in the Middle East and in many of these countries and is more dependent on corrupt or unsavory regimes and more involved with politically unstable movements and countries. In 2012, Saudi Arabia was the U.S.'s second largest importer of petroleum. It's no coincidence that most of America's current military involvement is concentrated in the area of the world with the greatest crude oil reserves. To conclude, if you want energy independence, we must support public transit. It reduces the cost of travel, it reduces our reliance on foreign oil, and it reduces the need or the drive for military intervention in places that have a lot of oil.